in this part of the video we will look at the actual exam questions and the format of these questions how it appears so this is all based on my experience and whatever i could remember the idea is not to exactly replicate whatever was there in the uh, exam uh, i cannot do that also because uh, my memory is limited so whatever uh, closest answers or closest questions i could remember i have jotted down in this video so as a tip what i would request is when you go for the exam uh, your target should be whatever visualizations maybe eight or ten questions that comes where you have to create a visualization you should uh, practice it very well because that that's where you can't get wrong and you should aim at scoring full marks for at least those questions because the other questions are you know very subjective and <clears throat> they have multiple options you may not get time to try out all the options if so that's why you have to practice tab you in such a way that you can move the mouse very fast that will allow you to you know even for those theoretical questions you can try out some of these options uh, the theoretical questions are very different even if you practice in certain exams the options will be very different so you have you may remember some but you may have to try some on your tableau desktop so you will be provided a virtual environment which will have tableau desktop installed and it will have the files as well so let's move ahead and let's take a look at some of these questions which are actual exam questions so now let's look at uh, what kind of questions were asked in the exam so this these are the set of questions which were asked in the uh, tableau desktop specialist certification exam so i'll go one by one i have documented whatever i could remember so there are 19 questions which i can clearly remember and then the remaining questions most of them probably are related to visualization creation which you have to create it there itself in the exam so one uh, thing that i want to let you know that the visualization creation exercise is a very simple exercise in the exam though i bought question papers and so many other things uh, which were very too difficult but uh, the exam didn't have that level of complexity uh, you have to practice the creation of visualization for hours because the key in the exam is completing it in time. Uh, there will be a lot of other questions where the options are not standard options. You will have to try them out as well. Even though they are theoretical questions, you will have to try them out. So the key is practice tableau and practice each and every option. Uh, at least five to eight, eight times so that you know before the exam uh, you are all set for the exam i'll go question by question the first question was asked about the wildcard union why it is used is it the options were like is it used for different data formats or same data formats and similar uh, table names field names etc okay the next question is on uh, when is the axis created so they ask questions like do we drag a dimension and then the axis is created or do we drag a measure and then it is created or do we drag a continuous field or a discrete field and then the axis is created so that is a question <clears throat> so i tried this there itself and found that if you put a measure the axis is created so which calculation does not need table or quick calculation quick table calculations so they had given option so i checked option by option so what i did is uh, this, this this the standard answer was standard deviation here so what i did is i compared the table calculation uh, with the uh, calculation which appears here i'll show you quickly so if you click here and go here so these are the set of calculations so uh, the standard deviation is available here as well so i compared them and there itself and then could answer it so that's why your speed of using tableau is a must uh, 
then there was a question if a measure can be made discrete okay so even measure you know if you see here uh, even the measures that you see here <coughs> can be made discrete it is continuous but it can be made discrete the moment you made discrete it becomes blue but that is doable then there was a question on why do you use tableau not the data extract but <coughs> tds data source and they had given three four options uh, to save aliases to save calculations and filters and those things then there was a question on the use of extract wise dot tde used for will it improve performance or will it you know, help row level security etc so that was us. now let's look at uh, the other questions question number seven so i got around uh, three questions on color palettes so one of them were related to shapes the other was related to the you know if they asked a question if the axis has uh, to be made bold the font has to be changed to bold from where will you do it so that was another question so they had given choices and there were four options one option was like you right click the axis and click format the other option was where you would go to one of the menu options above in the format and then use field settings something of that sort so i tried all the four options and saw that only from right clicking the axis would allow you to change and make it bold etc then there was a question on animation okay i didn't practice animation but there was a question <coughs> if the animation is checked by default and then what is the purpose of that so the question was around that then there was a question around dashboard uh, dashboard filter rearrange so the question goes this way is they told like if you have a dashboard and if you have a filter pane so if you want to rearrange it drag it and put it somewhere so where would you click will you click on the filter pane or will you click on the title of the filter or will you click on the drop down of that filter pane or will you click on the top three lines of the filter pane i thought it would be top three lines because by selecting that you can drag it anywhere you want okay then there was one question on reference line like uh, to create a reference line what is needed a measure dimension or calculated field or something of that sort there are four options then there was a question around like if you have they, were, they gave me four options and told which one would be set as dimension it was a multi-choice so which which ones i need to choose which will be set as dimensions so i thought name of the people uh, was one and there was one more which had similar name of the regions or something of that sort the number of records is a measure and latitude and longitude is a measure so i didn't choose that then there was a question on the line chart as to you know they asked the question like if uh, <clears throat> i need to create a line chart where, so the line should not be broken so what should i use or should i use a continuous date field a discrete date field and so on there were four options then there was a question on you know creating a visualization so they gave me full steps they told to use two measures uh, make it dual synchronized and then and, uh, they asked like for which year the difference between the two measures is maximum that was a question so i had to create it then there was a question on like if you have groups uh, if you use labels and select uh, create groups and then what happens does the le color legend change or the bar or the mark color changes or it replaces the allies names etc these are the options then there was a question on dynamic set it was a multi-choice question um then there was a question on story point like what is the story point relevance so i, th I thought it is uh, individual sheets and dashboards uh, one thing i would tell you like for similar questions if you are unsure uh, feel free to open google chrome and google it that is allowed as long as you are doing it from the virtual desktop or virtual environment that they have provided you access that is fine you can google and 
uh, search it the only challenge is the time limit is too less if you go too many questions you you would end up uh, missing some questions then there was a question on like why a report needs to be saved to a pdf so they have multiple options like to filter it in the pdf etc so pdf is static so most of the options just didn't hold good except for you know if you want to print the report then you put it in pdf that was the only uh, good option that i thought of then they had a question where you know they told that uh, they have a url action and the url goes this way and then there is a it's it's a company like hertz or something which has a car rental company and there are drop locations so when you click this drop location what will happen so what happens is they had given multiple choice so this drop location was california so the choices go that slash california or slash this mark between this mark california etc i thought it will just do a slash california and get it get there and then there was a question on they gave you they give a visualization at twbx they had multiple sheets they asked me to create a dashboard with uh, dragging the sheets two sheets and then there were certain filters they asked me to select certain set of filters and asked what uh, would be the output on certain things so i missed this question because the time was too short and then there were few visualization questions so you have to create the visualizations the visualizations are uh, uh, not very complex uh, i did not get any which uses lod uh, i got uh, most of them which were like you have to do <clears throat> a sorting uh, bottom five or, or the fifth highest or a fifth lowest or those kind of stuff so i found that to be decent enough uh, to answer in two minutes so overall i remember like 19 questions remaining were visualizations but then uh the w has its big repository and i believe the questions are never the same but this will just give you a gist of what can be asked so that's it uh, that i have one thing i would like to tell is uh i didn't get any questions on blending union join parameters histograms or highlighters uh maybe i was just lucky uh, but you know the next time you appear it can come so do prepare for it okay do subscribe my channel uh, i'd be putting in more videos for other certifications as well thank you bye bye